Hey everybody, Rich here, coming at you with this crazy video. Uh, I stopped by LCS today to pick up a couple cheap items. Um, and uh, let me just tell you, well, guys, before I get boring and start telling you stuff that's not as exciting. Dude, I picked up all these binders. Somebody had sold their whole collection. Look at this. Binders. Bi I haven't even looked in these binders yet. And all these boxes, 15 of these card file boxes, and uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine binders of, uh, looks to me like it's mostly tops uh, stuff from the 80s, which I know is not, um, you know, high-end stuff, but he's got a lot of... Uh, kind of got some of the I've only looked through three of these binders and and that's it and um, a lot of superstars uh, Hall of Famers fan favorites all-star type players in these binders uh, a lot of tops a lot of other uh, products too, some fleero peachy and stuff the thing is though I got this whole collection for 40 bucks all right it's hard to believe so I walked out the door for less than 40 45 bucks for all this stuff, it's already sorted. It's all in good shape, it seems. Like, nothing's too beat. When all I really went for was a couple dollar packs. What it was is I had bought one of these Hall of Fame packs. It's got all these old Hall of Fame players. And one of the cards was missing in the in the in from the set in the pack I bought. So I went back to get another one and also a couple of hockey... Uh, favorites from my kids let me just tell you this uh john michael lyles and um milan hey duke both skated with my kids so i thought it'd be fun to get them a couple cards for stocking stuff or and also i've been i packed i picked up this pack of rockies original rockies 1993 the first team i actually have a couple different sets of complete team sets from 93 of the Rockies I've been putting in a binder so I grabbed that really all I went for was one card out of that set and then what when I found out the dude was willing to let he didn't want to mess with it I think he pulled a couple choice cards out of some of these binders maybe some valuable ones I'm thinking there's a Griffey Jr. rookie card that's missing but nevertheless let's look through some of these real quick I'm gonna try to keep this pretty short this could easily be an hour-long video but just to show you what I got here, um, I'm going to try to stay out of the shadow if I can. But this, 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 uh, you know, here I'm seeing a lot of uh, 87 tops, which is one of my favorite. 86 and 87, there's a lot of 86 and 87 tops in here, which I like both of those sets, you know. And he's got a lot of, look at all this Gwyn, Tony Gwyn. And here's the thing is, there's a lot of these pages, man. There's so many duplicates in here. Look, Cal Ripken. Hopefully you guys can see this. Let me reposition this. I mean, Gwyn, Ripken, Nolan Ryan, Greg Maddox, Ryan Sandberg. And here's what I'd like to do. Let me start telling you this early before I lose a lot of people. Kirby Puckett. A lot, I mean, I have duplicates of almost every card. See this Dave Winfield, Nolan Ryans. What I'd like to do, I, I want to keep one of each myself, but I, I could go through here and um, give you, I'd, I'd be willing, I want to get my 40 bucks, 50, probably 50 bucks. It was like 45 and 45 with tax and with postage. It might be right around 50 bucks. I'd be willing to go through here and give you one of each card. Look at this, Tartable. I know him from the Yankees, but here he is in the 86 Donruss. Is that a... It's got to be a minor league insignia on his hat. Mickey Brantley, there's a whole page of him. I'd go through here and I'd bust you out a whole set. Look at all this Roger Clemens. A full page of the uh, 87 Tops. I mean, I, I could I could make stacks, you know, complete sets. Look at Wade Boggs. Wade Boggs with the Red Sox. Um, here we are, some 86 tops. 
Eric, a full page of Eric Davis. I'd go through here and give you one of each card, and I don't know what it's worth. Is it worth 40? Is it worth 50? I mean, I, I, I'm sure there'd be a huge stack. Tracy Jones. Look at these Pete Rose. I got seven or eight of the same Pete Rose card here. I mean, uh, is that 87 Donruss, Pete Rose? 80, 87 Tops, Pete Rose. How would you like one of every card in here that I have duplicates of, which is most cards? I mean, is that worth 40 bucks to somebody? This is just the first binder, mind you. It's going to take me a week or two to go through this whole collection and see what I got. But if I could get my 50 bucks back and then, you know, have a, a card. I'm going to take some of these uh, binder pages are pretty beat. They're sticky. You know, I've pulled some cards out and they're fine on the inside. But the, uh, you know, the plastic is getting old and sticky. Look at this Toys R Us rookie cards. There's some big, I saw some big names in some of these too. Bo Jackson, rookie. Is that a rookie? Yeah. Look at this. I got seven, eight, nine of the same cards in some of these places. There's four Bo Jacksons right on there. So if some, look at this. Jose Canseco rookie card. Toys R Us collector's edition. Danny Tartable rookie card. Corey Snyder. Barry Larkin rookie Anybody want a complete set of this, you know, help me get my money back? I'm worried about the powers that be are going to give me a hard time about just the amount of space this is going to take up in the house. We do not have a lot of floor space, closet space, and uh, what I want to do is go through these. I'm going to ditch these old um, binders, you know, hopefully this glare isn't too bad. Can you guys see some of this, I hope? Um, but I'd give you one of every card that I, you know, I got du a dupes of most in here. Look, there's more Pete Rose, Pete Rose manager card. Um, I think he was player manager at that point. Is that right? Or maybe he might have just switched to manager by that point. That's 87. Um, there's some Yankees in here, which I'm going to want to keep. I mean, um... Man, there's some weird stuff, too. There's some oddball stuff in here I found. There's a lot of, uh, here's some more uh, Toys R Us rookie um, cards. There's more Jose Canseco, Barry Bonds rookie. I think there's more of those. It's pretty scattered and disorganized. I found, like I said, I've only looked through three of these binders, but I found um not only duplicates on the same page next to each other but in other binders there's whole boxes i need to go through here and if you guys see a card i mean hopefully you guys can see this look at this reggie jackson with the uh is that with the angels yeah more than one of those chuck finley john crook Mickey Brantley, more da look a whole page of Danny Tartable, Kevin McReynolds, Bip Roberts. He's a guy I kind of collect. I have a few cards of him. There's three dupes all on the same page. Cal Ripken Jr., ha half a page. Look at that. Somebody get with me, dude. I want to make my fifty bucks back, and then you know. It's out the gate, you know. If you want to just send me a twenty-dollar bill or something for a pretty good stack of these, tell me what players you're interested in. You know, I just want to get my money back on the purchase and cover my postage expense. You know, if you're a guy I trade with and you need one or two cards, I'm happy to send it to you. You know, but if somebody wants a nice set, you know, of, look at this, Ozzy Smith. I love that dude. I liked him because he was. Uh, like a gymnast, he'd do flips on the field and stuff. The dude was a riot. He's just a you know a character. I got, I like interesting players like that. There's a half a page of him. Outfielders with a punch. It's a super car, superstar card. Magic Mets team card. Doubles and triples. These are uh, Tony Fernandez, Steve Carlton, Carlton Fisk. Look at this legend. From the Red Sox, um, there's seven of the same card on the same page. 
seven or eight Tony Fernandez. George Brett, a whole page of these George Brett. I mean, I know these aren't like rare, expensive cards or anything, but I mean, you know, some of these cards are, you know, I didn't think they got to be dollar cards or something, you know, 50 cents a dollar, you get, you know, a hundred cards or something. I mean, it's, it's definitely worth 20, 30, 40 bucks, whatever, you know, just let me know if there's something you see in here, or if you want to complete, you know, the biggest uh, stack I can put together for you. Like I said, I don't need five, six, seven, eight of the same card. Look at Tony Gwynn. That's the first binder out of what, nine binders? Here's another one. I'm gonna try to wrap this up. I'm trying to fly through this. So I'm just gonna show you these three. Maybe I'll make another episode soon when I get into those other ones. There's a half a page of Kirby Puckett. Man, that glare's terrible, isn't it? I hope this video is worth you know, doing. I wonder if I were to turn this. Holy crap, that's better. I should start again, huh? It's not as much light, but the glare is a lot better, huh? Maybe if I bounce the light off the ceiling. I'm a lighting designer, too, so forgive me. I'm really screwing myself. There's a Hank Aaron. I mean, obviously, that's not from his playing days, but a Hall of Fame card. Um, let's move this up a little. Anyway, I'm not really going for quality here. Here's the uh, 86 Tony Gwynn Opeachy. Some of these, I've noticed, they'll have the Opeachy and the uh, the regular tops right next to each other. Look, Donruss Leaf, same card. Man, the glare's still pretty bad, isn't it? Good God. Okay, let's just try to roll with that. Hopefully that's enough light. George Brett. Roger Clemens, three of the Donruss and two Leaf of the same card. Terry Steinbeck. Whole page of Cecil Fielder right there. Nolan Ryan. George Bell, Fernandez, Boggs, and Hero. These uh, two player cards. Cal Ripken. There's a lot of loose raw cards too in those boxes. I noticed. Looks like I got complete sets of like 86 tops. Mike Schmidt, Cal Ripken, Joe Carter. Three different Wade Boggs, two Leafs, and a Donruss. Dwight Gooden. Look at a whole page of Dwight Gooden. Literally a whole page and another half a page. More Wade Boggs. Look at all these Wade Boggs. Opeachy. And tops, Wade Boggs, Wade Boggs, more Wade Boggs, holy moly, Bobby Bonilla, Bonilla, Daryl Strawberry, how about that, move this up a little, camera still glare, I am so sorry about the, uh, if I could only find, a position that worked where I didn't get a lot of glare on this thing but like I said I'm just going through this quick it's not meant to be like high quality video but to show you look at that more Daryl Strawberry Wally Wally Joyner more Wally Joyner pages pages of Wally Joyner different different sets Jose look at all that Jose Canseco I mean everybody loves that guy right Holy moly, dude. Mark McGuire. More Conseco. More McGuire. More Conseco. Diamond Kings Conseco. Corey Snyder. Will Clark. Look at all that Barry Bonds. There's some missing here. I wonder if somebody pulled some out or they fell out. That's like a whole page of Barry Bonds. Whole page of Will Clark. More Barry Bonds on that side. That's my frame here. Ricky Henderson, there's a guy I like. I like him with the Yankees. Here's some Yankees. Some of these are a little older, right? Is that uh everything I'm seeing here is 80, early 80s, early to mid 80s so far, I'm pretty sure. The guy told me, the guy that sold them to me told me there's nothing nothing newer than 87. That whoever collected these Mattingly, as 86 Mattingly. 
86 Kirby Puckets, Mattingly, Mattingly, whole page of Mattingly, holy moly, dude. Somebody's got to want at least one of each of these cards, right? I just go through here and I take out one of everything and send it to you, you know? And if you, like, help me make my money back so the powers that be can't complain that I blew a bunch of money. Mostly what I'm going to catch hell for is just this, the amount of space I'm taking up with these boxes. But I'm going to see if I can whittle this down and, uh, you know, get rid of some of these. Here's some interesting stuff. What's this? 1971 World Series card. There was some kind of stickers in there. Holy moly, I'm over 15 minutes already. We're going to wrap this up, dude. I'm going to have to make this a two, three, four, five parter. Dwight Goodens, Ryan Sandberg, more Dwight Gooden. Maybe we can go through this last one really quick since I'm already over 15 minutes. I'm not even going to talk too much. I'm just going to go through them unless there's something super notable. You guys see anything you like? I'm happy to spread the love. Here we're getting into the Diamond Kings, which is not like a thing I'm huge on. I'm not real big on the artwork or design, but they're kind of iconic. There's a whole bunch of Pete Rose, Diamond King, George Bell. Now we're kind of all over the place, back into the 86, 87 tops. Got like everybody here. Willie McGee. Gary Carter. Hernandez. A lot of these Keith Hernandez. Steve Carlton. Okay, now we're into these. Look at this. I got some buttons here. Badges. You know, can you guys see that? Crazy stuff. Can't even tell who that is. Dan... Petri, Johnny Ray, Mario Soto. These moving cards, these things are crazy. He's got two in each, so I can't even read the back. And look at these, they're falling out of the binder. Whoa, Reggie, look at that Reggie. Can you see that? A whole bunch of Reggie, Pete Rose moving cards. I don't know what you call those weird things that move. They got multiple images. There's some Yankees players in there. Um, like I said, I, look at this, pages and pages of these movers, these moving inserts, um, I've always thought those are a trip, I have a little, and look at this crazy stuff here, like this crazy one hole binder thing, Mickey Rivers, Al Oliver, and then look at all these mini cards, there's multiple ones in each slot. I'm not even going to go through them, dude. I'm just going to flip through them so you guys can get an idea. I'm getting back here. Look at minis, minis. Stickers now. Fleer stickers. Fleer stickers. More Diamond Kings. Some Ozzy Smith. Finish off with some Ozzy Smith. The Wizard of Oz. That's pretty cool. Tiger's team card on the back. But like I said, so there's three binders that we just looked through. There's seven more in there. There's all these boxes. Look at these boxes, dude. I'm not going to go through them. But it looks like there's almost probably a complete set of 87 tops there. There's all this. You know, they seem to be sorted pretty well. There's 86 Donruss in this one. You know, there's some oddball stuff. There's like stickers and stuff. You guys let me know what you need, what you're looking for. I mean, if somebody wants, you know, a couple things, that's not a big deal. But if you want to help me get my money back, send me a $20 bill or something. Or for, you know, one of everything, the 40 bucks to make sure I got my money back. Look, there's probably a complete set of these in here, these FLIR. I haven't even looked at these. Anyway, that's it. Let's wrap it up, man. This is long. It's been long. But uh, here's a cool book I'm reading, watching Baseball Smarter. I'm sure you guys are all smart baseball player, uh, watchers, but uh, I actually learned a lot of cool stuff. There's a lot of cool insights in here from this guy, Zach Hample. He wrote a book on how to catch Major League Baseballs, too. It's just an interesting, interesting guy, writes an interesting book. Anyway, that's it. Let's get done. So you guys, if I haven't tortured you too much, hit me up.
Let me know if you need anything. Let me know what you think of uh, my purchase. Certainly, this is worth $40. I mean, I've spent $40 on two or three cards before. I don't think there's anything, you know, necessarily super valuable in here. But, you know, if there's 40 cards in here that are worth a buck, I did all right. You know, if there's, four, if, if there's 80 cards in here worth 50 cents, I did all right. So, uh... That's it. I'm going to say goodnight. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some feedback on this. So hit me up. Let me know what you think. God bless everybody. Peace out and uh, happy Thanksgiving.